Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the login and the sign up using the next auth credentials with Next.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically here you can see that we have a sign up account, then sign up and then sign in. Both we have, then we have a forgot password. So each and everything we have. So let's have a look how we can do it with the next auth. So if I go to the next auth over here, and uh, here we have an email and the password credentials. If I go to the configurations, we have a providers. Then we have a auth, email, and the credentials. So here I am going to use the credentials. And what is credentials? Credentials provider allows you to handle signing with the arbitrary credentials, such as your username and the password, or two-factor authentication, or the hardware device like this. Okay. So what we have to do over here, we have to pass in the provider's credentials provider with the name credentials and credentials you have to pass, then authorize the credentials. Okay, so here you can call the API or you can connect to the DB to get it. Okay, so let's have a look of that one. So let's first of all, I need to go with the my local host. That's PHP, let's add miner because PHP, my admin, I don't have right now. Let's log in and let's go first the database setup. So here we have the database that is connect to DB where it is. Auth is there pages services utils. We have a connect db.js so here we have a connection so make sure you have to install this npm package right and let's change the details so here the details are the root and the password is this okay and let's create the database with this okay let's go and just my db is already there users are already there ID name password is there but name is not there so alter the table and add the name over there okay so let's add more that is name I suppose or username let's have a look for the registration let's go with the API email name is required so name right and let's delete this one we don't require the updated or this one name that could be a var care okay let's make it 100 and let's save this okay so database is ready let's have a look of that one and the connectivity is done let's go and check let's go with the sign up so here we put the my name Rajnikanth your email <coughs> any email we will put over here and the password we put over here let's try to sign in so something went wrong that the email with this and this what is the network unauthorized and the payoff response giving me the something went wrong let's check what something went wrong unknown database my app database is not there it's my db okay so let's fix it so here we have a my db it's not my app it's my db okay let's restart it let's try to insert again register so i'm logged in with my account right here you can see and if i go and check my data so here we have this username and my password let's try to do the login process already logged in so just log out and uh, with the this is the I think and let's do the sign in and here welcome Rajnikanth with my email and the logout button. Okay, so here you can see that everything is maintained by this next auth. So you don't need to do anything. Okay, let's dive into the code level now do with the forgot password. I think forgot password. I haven't made it. So if you want and I will make it right. So let's dive into the code level, how this structured is. We have done this one. Okay. So this is basically for the MySQL, right? 
and uh, later on i will do with the mongodb and then do with the postgres then sqlize i will do all of these things right so have you go with this one so first of all in the utils let's check the structure first so we have a pages okay then we have a utils then we have a services okay so in the utils we have to create the connect db.js file so here we have a connection with the mysql okay after this this is going to be closed now we have a pages because pages we have a api so all the apis go over there then we have a profile screen then we have a index screen then we have a register one okay so in the index what we have here you can see that so we have a sign in document okay so we require what here we require the form submit with the dev input email okay so this is the email part right set form data email value okay then we have the password value okay so here we have when we have the on chain then set the form data okay and the last we have the buttons that is we have a submit sign in and then we have a label with remember me and the forgot password with the link okay and if you don't have an account then we have a register link also okay so this is and we have a toast container so toast not notification will come over here that account has been successfully done right so this is for the we have to two inputs that is username name and the password email and the password right so email and the password for the sign in and here we have a set form data so here we have a states form data so email and the password we have to set any error we have then we can also set the error whenever there is a handle submit what we will do if there is a no form data email we will show that the email is required okay if i just log out if i go and uh, sign in so email is required <coughs> okay so here you can see that validations right set error password is required okay and if i have the form data then i need to go with the logged in so this is our logged in okay so here we have a import the logged in from the services in the services we have a logged in okay so logged in what we ex accept email and the password for the logged in okay and then with the help of the sign in credentials in the auth okay next auth credentials redirect false you can mention redirect also email and the password and return the status okay so this is for the logged in this is for the sign in part right okay so this is for the sign in we email and the logged in part for the sign in and we will push the toast message successfully logged in then push to the profile screen okay and this is for the sign in page right then we have a register page okay so what we require the register page that is register now so there is a register now also here you can see that we have a api okay so we are calling the api for registration part okay so here we go with this next link react toast container and the use router okay then we have a normal states so form data error same thing on handle submit first of all we will check that the email is there password is there or name is there or not according to it we have to show the error okay if it is if all the data is there then we will call the api register now and send the form data and if it is done then we immediately do the logged in section also on the same note okay so we have on the same way we have to the uh, justify the credentials or rectify verify the credentials then uh, we will make the user logged in at the same time and push into the profile screen okay so on the account note what we have dev that the input we have this is for the name this is for the email and this is for your password okay and the last we have a submit button okay if you have any account then do go with the sign in also okay let's go back to the api section in the, uh, this is structure pages api auth then next auth okay so here we go with the next auth.js okay so here the same thing that we have to here so here you can see that credentials provider so here we have a credentials provider okay this is connection okay and this is for the bycrypt js you have to install for comparing the passwords right so here we go with this one right so here we have used the session for the jwt and the providers that is credentials name credentials okay so credentials here you can see that this they have passed but we don't require because we are getting it from the database so authorize 
here you can see that async authorized credentials and the request okay so here we will call the api or call the database okay so we require the email and the password over here the credentials and here we are doing the connection connect db so select from the users where email is this one so we will check first the email is exist or not if the length is zero that uh, no user found with this email if the user is formed then we were going to check the password with the bike uh, with the this bycrypt js right comparing the user password and the database password and it, if the password is not matching it will show that the password doesn't match else it will return the user id name and the email okay and the pages sign in index okay this is how we will do that one and they have the more credentials details Now the same thing we have this is the format that we have returned that is name email and this one okay so this is how we have done this one next off then we have a register api okay so where we are calling the register one so here we are using the joy for the validations email password and the name okay so if the request method is not equal to post then we will return that the method is not allowed okay and validate the body request first with the help of the schema dot validate email password and the name okay if everything is right then we will go with the connection and save the data select from first of all we will check that the user already exists or not if it's already exists we will throw an error that the user is already exist if it is not then we are going to save the user into the database and return that the account created successfully else we will return that the error in registration and something went wrong please try again later okay so this is that one now we have a profile dot in index so here we are checking the session okay on authentication like the when there is authenticated then we will put that route into the profile and there would be a handle sign out button await sign out and push the data url to the index okay and here we have a sound sign out where we are showing the in the session username name and the user email okay and then we have a sign out button with logout okay so this is for the you can see about the profile screen then we have a app.js where we have to the session provider wrapping into the component okay then we have a document js right and then we have an index js okay index js we have already discussed and register is already discussed okay I think we have discussed the full fledged register login. Okay. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Have a nice day.